As a world record holder and, and having broken world records, I can tell you that the thing that's special about you know a world record when you're when you're able to break one is the accomplishment, not so much you know holding on to it. That's what I felt when I broke the world record in uh, in the 200 meters as well in the 400 meters, and uh, and I have that memory still, and I'll have that memory forever of all of the work that went into it, all of the people that helped me, and and then finally accomplishing it. That'll never go away. Attempting the, the 200, 400 Olympic double was, was absolutely a daunting task and it was something that I had to be confident that I could do it. I would say that 1996 Atlanta was certainly the most uh, difficult task that I ever took on and, and I was able to, to, uh, to be successful and uh, making history there was certainly significant. Since I retired, I've never felt I wish I was still out there. I you know, was fortunate, I was very fortunate to achieve all of the goals that I had set for myself. Um, you know, most people forget that when I retired, I was still ranked number one in the world and probably could have gone for another four years and won more Olympic gold medals, but uh, uh, I, I'd, I'd run out of goals. I'm most proud of the fact that I went to three different Olympics and five different world championships and, and I won every time. That type of consistency and longevity in, in the sprints in particular is very difficult and so that's the thing that I'm, uh, I'm most proud of. The Olympic Games are always exciting uh, because you, you know that you're gonna see the, the best athletes at their best. And so I find myself doing every Olympics, it's happened every Olympics, I find myself just glued to the television and going to events that I wouldn't go to outside of the Olympics. There aren't a lot of athletes out there you know, this year that are different than the ones that we heard of from the last Olympics, Michael Phelps and Usain Bolt. I think those guys are gonna be the stars again. I think Usain can do whatever he wants to do. <laughs> uh, you know, he's got that type of talent and he wants to win three gold medals again. And I would say if he's healthy and he gets to the starting line healthy at his best, everyone else at their best, he wins every time. I mean, he's just that good. I think that he could break the world record again. He could run, you know, he could run 9.5 lower. He runs very raw. He's not a very clean sprinter. If you look at him, from a biomechanical standpoint. Ultimately, if he were to really be focused on and committed on cleaning up his technique, he could probably run 9-4. Many people will come in and, and win an Olympic gold medal once, but to repeat, uh, it's, it's difficult. And that says a lot when you're able to do that. I think that the false start last year at the World Championships with Usain was something that uh, uh, was a product of him feeling like he, he his start was much improved. He had improved his start dramatically, and I think he felt that people were starting to doubt him a little bit because he's set the bar very high, and people, you know, expect him to come out and run a world record every time. So I think that, you know, he has probably learned from that. I think that at the end of the day, it's probably been a good thing for him and the sport because otherwise we're just watching an exhibition. So I've seen him from time to time and spent some time uh, talking about his career. He feels uh, very confident in his ability. He is said that he feels that he's not there yet in terms of being a legend and that he feels like he needs to, to win this year and, and repeat as Olympic champion in order to be considered a legend. Most of us already consider him one, but I think that you know that's a healthy attitude to have. It gives him an objective and some motivation. But certainly if he repeats this year as 100 and 200 meter Olympic champion, then he'll have to be you know known as the, the, the greatest of all time. It's, it's the Olympics, you're gonna have, you know, you're gonna see a lot of people out there winning medals, but, you know, the, the icons, the, the people who, you know, kind of rise above and become, you know, huge superstars in, uh, of the Olympics are the athletes who go in and, and make history and do something that was unexpected.